On Tuesday, April 9, 2019, a small group of distinguished Canadian broadcasters descended on a rural home in Augusta, Georgia. Two days later, the only thing found was the following footage. 7.23 p.m. You have to do the theme. So which theme do I have to do, though? Theme in three... No, no, hang on. What theme? Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Whatever one you want to do, I guess. Season three There's of the, the podcast. All right. JD's Rubber Boots Podcast. There you podcast. go. Just keep going. Sit and relax and tell you all sorts of stories. That's not the song anymore. Yeah. I need to hear it. What are you doing? <laughs> exactly what we said. Duffy's Rubber Boots Podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't yeah. have... Yeah. Oh, well, well, what was the words that you <laughs> said? Thank you for <laughs> 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 With your host, Jimmy, Jamie, and James. <laughs> It's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a blast. This is the podcast. I gotta listen to it again. That's Champagne. We've started. We, we've started already. Scott Moyer just told me to cram it. Should we start? Are you kidding me? Wow, he's already name dropping. We're like I just did a Jimmy. I just did a Jimmy. Uh, welcome to episode twenty-seven. Twenty. Oh, more importantly, the third annual Masters edition. Of the Rubber Boots like no other. Welcome, podcast. Um, let me introduce our guests here. Uh, there's uh, Puffy, Hello. who's currently uh, <laughs> chugging from a bottle of it's cupcake cupcake champagne, oh, yeah. sparkling rosé. Uh, Puffy's not an alcoholic. Uh, this is in reference Nicole, our fixer, our Mr. Wolf. Uh, a few years ago, you remember on the podcast, yep. Puffy and Bump drank a, a lot bottle of, of champagne drinking. from our rental house, yeah, that was which nice. was a uh, wedding gift. A wedding gift. It was a good night. And so our fixer, Nicole, Mr. Wolf, uh, she went out and bought Puffy a, a bottle of champagne so we could have a legitimate one this time. Yes. Puffy's here. Uh, Bump is making his yes, uh, annual I'm happy to be back. You heard him trying to sing the uh, theme song off the I was the top. trying to memorize it and you never gave me any ch- chance to do it. Also, Run from the Bump yes. and Run Yay. podcast. A popular TSN.ca golf podcast. Yeah, uh, he's known <laughs> as Bob Weeks. <laughs> also making a special appearance, you heard him first on the Cabot podcast last year and there's some synchronicity here because uh this podcast though our beloved sponsors on tucket waimara i drink coffee.com they're always with us but uh this is uh and we love them forever but this podcast is a special one we give them a free one for this one we don't charge them any of the exorbitant fees we because this one is sponsored by cabot yes as we get set for our annual cabot trip you will not be going no um (laughs) nor will you i know (laughs) um (laughs) And by TaylorMade, yes, our friends at TaylorMade Nick. Canada, Nick, who uh, we had a fitting. We'll talk about more about our fitting maybe on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, you... Hold on. There was a fitting? <laughs> yeah, you missed it. Too Sorry. Bad, bad news Stop for break. you. We forgot. Listen, you got all my hand-me-down clubs, so you have nothing to complain about. There's only three wow. pods Thanks, available. Thanks, TaylorMade. Uh, that was a long introduction for Mark Ward. Mark Ward. Hey, uh, thank Mark, you very much. My, uh, you. my boyhood friend from grade, grade three. Who uh, made his debut at Cabot last year? He's back you, on the you podcast. Might know better from Bumble as <laughs> M Ward <laughs> Large. <laughs> and it's gone. Uh, that will be that will be <laughs> that will be all be done. And also for the for the first time tonight, this is exciting. We like to add new twists every year in the Masters. First time ever, a lot of people have been demanding this, a live studio audience for the Rubber Boots podcast. Uh, Put your hands together for Ryan Vardy. Yes. It's a, it's, what is it? It's Ryan Vardy. What is it? It's a Vaughty It's a Vaughty party. party. <laughs> How did you not get I that? Know, I'm sorry. You champagne. literally I didn't champagne. for nothing for but 48 Four hours. Days of that. Uh, Ryan Vardy is one of our beloved uh, party party. <laughs> camera <laughs> operators. Cal- Calgary camera. Uh, also with us, uh, the audience is now two. Well, there's three. Do we did not name three. last time, so no. we're going to have to beep that out again yeah. because the last time we talked about was on a Stanley Cup final podcast, and we talked about how he he manipulated with the uh, streetlights in Pittsburgh. I remember that. <laughs> so, them all hang on, I gotta get green. my extra life on HQ. What are you doing? <laughs> I gotta get my extra life on HQ. You're doing that HQ trivia thing? No, I'm not gonna do it. I just need to get my extra life. Stand by. <laughs> I did it. Five Stop day streak. 
<laughs> is that thing still going? Yes, man, it's going. Uh, listeners, nah, I don't feel like HQ the thing with. I the almost won sports anymore. yesterday. You witnessed it. How much? You get? Well, I did that for a I while. Got like seventy five. Yeah, you won like four bucks or something. I won two bucks before. But it's not the money; it's no, the winning. It's the right? it's the it's the right. appeal of it's winning. The, it's like women; it's the chase. Like right? the right. <laughs> So uh, like a bumble. As that's <laughs> more champagne, <laughs> more champagne for- But as we'd soon learn, champagne wishes can turn to champagne nightmares. Seven forty-two p.m. Um. Where do you want to go this week? I thought we, should we do segments? Uh, should we just talk about? I guess we should talk we about the masters. Talk about the masters. Why don't we do the the week that was, but it's kind of still going, so we'll call it the week that is. All right. You want to sing Love the theme? Love Let's it. discuss the week that was. No, he said is. James is with James Duffy. It doesn't rhyme then if you say let's discuss the week that was. You have to say. Let's discuss the week that Oh, no, wait a second. 7.51 p.m. Let's all this for the week that is with James Duffy I just and the Rumble podcast. I gotta beat that out too. Why? <laughs> it's a lot of Everyone beeping. knows that there's a little bit of extra stuff happens this week. What the? What exactly did Puff mean by a little extra? 8.02 p.m. Uh, segment two. The studio audience just belched, and it, it's a horrible smelling Captain belch. Oh I also <laughs> did. Get security to keep, kick it out. It's disgusting. You think that happens at Letterman or... I guess letter is kind of a dated Alex. reference. Yeah, we'll have to be found. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's the not Jay, a millennial. Jay, Jay Leno's tonight. Show. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen at Carson. At Carson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the week that is, we're uh, we're live at the Masters. Very exciting. Uh, I guess we should start when we arrived. And Corey Connors, the Canadian, just as we landed in Atlanta. Was in contention, mm-hmm. and then we listened on PGA Tour radio. Uh, it, by the way, if you have a chance to listen to, it, is awful. <laughs> <laughs> the worst, <laughs> literally, like, the worst broadcasting honestly, coverage. I would we love. Have had someone drive beside us and just say he's one up, then listen to what they were doing. On it, the it was broadcast. terrible. Um, but we, we were cheering in the car, and then we got here for the last six col- holes. That was cool. And uh, Corey Connors won. We just uh, went to the Golf Canada Barbecue. Which is our annual Tuesday night event. That's right. We stole a case of beer. Case of beer. We steal a case what of beer. What kind was it this year, Weeksy? Corona, good Canadian beer at Canada Steel. Night. <laughs> Steel whistle, steam whistle got left at the board. It was Canada yeah. Night, and it was uh, Heineken and yes. Corona. Stella. <laughs> and Stella. But they couldn't. They were trying to fist at Stella as soon as we got there. Steam Whistle is their I sponsor. Didn't see you they got stopped at the border. <laughs> yeah. Steam Whistle, their, their Steam Whistle shipment got stopped at the border. That's yes. right. That's what happened. Is that like in the fire documentary when they couldn't so. get the water in, yes. and the guy so. had to take one for the team? I, think I so. did say that I was willing to go to the border to claim such beer. And take one for the team? Yes. Take 800 of them for the team. And Corey was there at the party, though. Getting take 800 back beers left at the border. That's not what it means. Have you seen the fire documentary? No. <laughs> does, it, does he look like a guy that I would have, see the fire documentary? Oh, yeah, because they're so sophisticated. <laughs> but a bunch of losers. Look at I'm going to pretend it's water. Island. Just as the mystery, the cast grew as well. 8.27 p.m. Oh. Owen is here, another ca- camera operator joining us. Hey. Owen was on last year. I believe yes, he made he a cameo was, appearance. Yeah. Owen? He's based out of Vancouver. So, Corey Connors uh, in the Masters. That's a big story. I'm trying to get a little sports content in here. That's good. What else has happened so far uh, during our Masters week? That's, We've got the same house. We've got the big house. Again. Oh, yeah. Same house. So, we're looking right now at the family. Nicole? Yeah. What's the name of this? Oh, we can't say that anyway. Yeah. It's uh, the it's father is a doctor. Beep. And they yeah, have the they have yeah, seven children. Family. Puffy, are you in the youngest child's room that I was in last year? Yes. With all the little tiny clothes and the dolls and such? I didn't uh, go through her clothes, so no, I don't know that. We should put it right on. We 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 actually uh, are the person that takes care of the cleaning and everything. Yes. Belinda, right? Belinda. She was. She's the, she's the. Yes, it is Belinda oh. Stronach. Amazingly, <laughs> she funny. is the swim coach <laughs> of the family. Okay, that that is that is the that is the worst content you've ever I'm provided. I'm not joking though. This is not joking. I she know, but that's not exciting. Lovely. You haven't let me finish. <laughs> you interrupted me after swim coach. Have you seen the movie? What was that? Swim Fire? something with um, the girl from Parenthood. It couldn't get worse, could it? 8.39 p.m. Okay, I have a hypothetical. Oh, let's get to it. Should we For do the theme? $10 million. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's whoa, do the theme. Whoa, whoa, we got a lot of them. 
you, you totally killed the week that was. Uh, we still haven't finished the week that is. Well, hypotheticals are really messing with my crap. mind. All the All ladies the wanted to see her is the Rod Smith recap. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Roddy is the best. The best. Okay, Puff. For $7 million, would you replace that gentleman there and raise that family? <laughs> As your own. You have to live in this house and you have to raise all seven of those children. Yes. S- <laughs> yeah. When she's on Bumble. Uh, seven million bucks. So I have to move to Augusta. You have to live in this house and raise every one of those. That's a million bucks. But I couldn't do I have to take over his life because I'm I, I can't be a doctor and no, I No, you get seven million bucks, you don't need to work. Yeah, we still rent your They're house homeschooled though. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy will need to work. Do I have to rent yeah, do I have to rent my house out to you chumps for a week every year? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. You do. Yeah. yes, you do. Because I'm gonna come in with that FBI uh, that blue light, they come in and do you <laughs> check out your bed. No, stay away. Stay away from he was snoring the other night, but I'm not not so sure it was snoring. <laughs> what, about, what about the wife? What do you think? You get her too in the deal? Yeah, yeah, she comes in the deal. Well, she would oh, come in the deal. Nicole, will they listen to this yes. podcast? <laughs> Are they aware of the rubber boots? They have a beautiful family. They do. And we They're thank them for providing. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for $7 million. $7 million? Bucks? No. But at seven kids, though, doesn't your uterus fall out at six? <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, wow. our, our, and I thought I was our I was kind of thinking, the guy, after about five, I would have bought a television, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gone well uh, so far. We get well. really busy. What we happened? Broken it, uh, we've had a couple Here leaks in the, in the uh, We did have a, a leak our, our first night. Can you? Matter. Do you have to talk the entire time that everyone else is talking? Or like, <laughs> this is what the the audience wants. They've tweeted me. I did say Direct, today directly. Our rubber boots count tweeted today that uh, this was the uh, um, you know the craziest podcast of the year, and a lot of people said that it was actually better than right. the Masters itself. Now remember <laughs> the poll I sent you. What was that, that 100% of the people said more bump. Yes. How many did right? you... There were five people that responded. But 100% of them wanted more. <laughs> Who were they? Um, Eva, my wife. Phoebe. <laughs> and Eva daughters. and Aubrey. Your three and children. Yeah. Yeah. Although he could feel it begin to slip, Jimmy tried to hold it all together. 8.55 p.m. So let's go. Let's continue with the hypotheticals. I say no. Does anybody else want to live here and for seven million dollars and take nope. over this family? I would, I would live here with this. No, you this wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. You're Once lying. again, another segment. I'll be sending Tanya and your two children. <laughs> I'll live here with. Papa. I'm never getting seven million from those three. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Are they that bad at gamblers already? (laughs) Uh, We were going to do... Okay, the other hypothetical... Weeksy hasn't answered yet. I'm 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 trying to get the pod going. We're a team. (laughs) The other hypothetical that's been dominating, and I can't remember if we talked about this last year on the pod. Um, It's a hypothetical that's dominated all of our conversations for the last two years. Uh, We have our set on the par three course at Augusta National, which is lovely, which you'll see on a Wednesday. Uh, the par three contest and uh, bump uh, puffy i think came up with this hypothetical last year could bump shoot 40 break 40, break 40. On, on the par three so he'd have to shoot 39 if he breaks 40 it's a par 27 it's a par 27 Look, can, let's just finish 40? the scenario i thought i had till 40 you have to shoot for okay we'll let you shoot 40 41 you lose he gets 10 million dollars yes a win. if he loses puffy tell what happens we get to shoot him in the head and roll him into the water we throw him in the pond and uh ryan vardy has donated weights to four batteries, four batteries to weigh him down so yeah, he sinks i thought we were going to stab, go like stab him or beat him to death well i would i would prefer <laughs> the, the beat to death the batteries are still included why do you think you can break 40 because you've been arguing this it's, for two it's years 13 over par right these holes are 130, 140 yards. So that's at the most an eight iron for me. Uh, wow. While, while I Seriously, will admit. Someone who's throwing eight irons around on that course ain't breaking Did you, see, did you see me hit that ball on seven in 2010? When we played Augusta. I saw a lot of balls going towards the trees. Like, I, too. Think, I don't think anybody gives me any credit for actually <laughs> being a decent golfer. Well, Mark saw you. Mark, you saw him at Cabot last year. How would you evaluate his game? Uh, 
Um, I had some moments. You had moments, but you also had a couple of bad days, yeah. and those <laughs> are one. those are come those memories are shining right now. <laughs> it wasn't so, a couple bad days. We were only there for two days. That's you got you, two bad days. <laughs> you got very angry. I did. You threw angry. a lot of clubs. He threatened to walk off. He was a you crow. A crow. A yep. crow here's saved the th- me. here's Bumble. the pro- here's the pro- oh yeah. What was the crow's name? Bumbo. Bumbo, your crow. My crow, he saved me. He was he just kept showing up at every hole. I was Laughing. like, please, Bumbo, get my ball. <laughs> Bumbo ain't going to be here to save you when you're in. But Puffy, let's get to the next hypothetical. Seven. He's dead. We already beat him. He's seven. That's only 20. Okay. Okay. The, next the other hypothetical goal. is, I, I know some it. of you really enjoy the game of golf. If I could say to you, you could play 10 rounds a year at Augusta National, mm-hmm. but that would be the only golf you could play. So you could never play another course, but every year you could play 10 rounds at Augusta Sign National. me up, baby. Would you right take now. that up? Sign me up right now. So 10 rounds a year, that's, that's it. it. That's fine. I only play like 15 rounds a year now. So. <laughs> that's it. So Puffy, you, you? It's a good laugh track. Yes, right I would now. also do it because I don't play enough. I would do it for sure. Absolutely. This is not We've all played Augusta. Games. No chance. I do I have to live with the family here? With the seven <laughs> kids? Then I'll do it. No, I would not do that. So you, you would not do, do that? I love golf. I want to play 50, 60 rounds a year, especially as I, you know, That's age. Yeah. He takes age. Lessons. And I want it, you want it to be special. We've all, the four of us have all played here. Yes. It was special. So maybe at the seventh, eighth time, you'll be like, nah. You know? Yeah, you know, you know what you should ask about that? Tiger fucking Woods. Whoa. You don't think he walks through the door and think it's special? You think he's like, oh, yeah, just another round. Ladies and <laughs> Augusta <laughs> National. It's the best course in the world. <laughs> Give it some <laughs> respect. He needs more champagne. More champagne. It didn't take long for Puff and Jimmy to turn on one another. 9 10 p.m. Oh, look, everybody. Oh, look. It's Canadian PGA Tour hey, professional hey, David, Hearn. David Hearn. Hey. David, if you could play 10 rounds of golf at Augusta National every year, but you could never play another round of golf, would you do it? Would you be playing with me? Yes, every round at Augusta National. Well, that, well, hold it, that changes oh, things. I'd rather shoot myself. <laughs> okay, first of all, you're an idiot. He's a pro golfer. He makes his living playing golf. He can't play 10 rounds at Augusta and not play anywhere else. Well, yeah, if you, were, if you, you know what 10 rounds can get you at Augusta? A green f***ing jacket. That's all you f***ing need. A green f***ing jacket. And that's a one point, probably six million dollars a year. I think you can live off that, David Hearn. <laughs> The best is the, is the chug of champagne he takes at the end. And Hurd has left the building. Smart move, David. Now let's move further down our timeline. 9.17 p.m. Uh, we had a lot of audience feedback uh, oh, okay. last week, so I thought I'd share. Uh, we love our audience. One of the things we did last week was a one of those goofy little Twitter games where you combined the last thing you purchased with your grade four teacher's last name. Yes. And that became, we said at the time, I mean, I think the gig on Twitter was it became your MLB, MLB nickname. nickname. Well, just let's just call it your old baseball, old time baseball old, nickname. Old time Ebbets Field baseball think, nickname. I don't think mine's gonna work. Mine would be Masters Pin Flag Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Masters Pin Flag Roberts. <laughs> Uh, we added 121 in the 1919 season. Do, do you know what yours is? So, can you think of it? I'll read some of these. You and Mark and our, okay. our studio audience can think of it. Uh, so, here's some of the ones we got from our listeners. Sour Cream Pedersen. <laughs> Batting third, playing left field. Sour Cream Pedersen. That was from Ian Richards. Sour Cream Pedersen. Sour Cream Pedersen. I like this one. Big Mac Jones. Oh, oh, nice. He's a heavy hitter. Mac Jones 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 the there was a real Mac Jones. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the early days. 1969. Yeah. He sounds like an analyst of 1930 baseball. Yeah. Uh, Trisket Bailey. That was from Kyle yeah, Waters. Like that That's pretty good. Uh, Glasses T. Because that guy didn't know his teacher was Mrs. T. He couldn't remember the last name. That was Elton Barton. <laughs> that guy, should, Elton Barton, should never respond again. It should be L. Ron Barton. Isn't Don't it? ever, ever hey, criticize our, our listeners, listeners or you'll never be on yeah. again. Uh, <laughs> Starbucks. Controversy sells. Starbucks Lavasso. That was from Kevin Eller. <laughs> Juicy <laughs> Fruit Ho. Oh, oh. His teacher was Mrs. Ho. <laughs> Yeah. Juicy Fruit Ho was That's one of the awesome. wasn't that one of the four teachers? One of my one of my oh, best, best friends is a last name Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Peaks. Wasn't that one of the people you connected with on Bumble last night? <laughs> Juicy Fruit Ho. Swipe left. Yeah. Uh, Veggie Burger Richmond. 
<laughs> that was from uh, somebody. Uh, two sub Gagnon. I like that oh, one. Well, First Canadian good. pitcher to make the majors. It's true. Two sub Gagnon. Paps Burgentino. <laughs> somebody had a Paps Blue Ribbon. No, I think it was a Paps Blue oh, Ribbon. Damn. Not a Paps Smear yeah. Test. That was Ronan Gleason. <laughs> you don't have to pay for those. <laughs> cough like, drops. Yeah, those cough drops flipping. Cough it was Alan Apple. Cough drops flipping. Nice. Uh, did you have one? Yeah, mine was uh, Pringles Bartlett. Pringles Bartlett's That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. decent. Not bad. Do you know Marquis? I'd be uh, Penicillin Kovacs. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's got something in his <laughs> bar. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the explanation. Um, <laughs> I could. Uh, what else? Uh, tattoos. We talked about tattoos last week. Yeah. And uh, some suggestions came in. Neil wanted Stoff's car. Broke, broken down by the side of the road. That's very fitting. That's uh, a loser. Fristicuffs. Why, why do you keep... Did you, did you, <laughs> Chris, car. It's so negative. Oh, car? That doesn't make sense. Oh, you think somebody wants bumps face on their ass? Well, I would hope not. I already got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have a yeah. podcast together. That's why it's called uh, the Run and Bump Podcast. Fristicuffs wants Weimara in multi- multicolors on his navel in the shape of a rainbow. Oh, that's, oh, that's very, very nice. nice to our sponsor. What? Stefan Schindel wanted Elton Ron at the piano oh, with the rubber boots cast gazing in his eyes. Oh, well, we would be. Yeah. Wow. So, that's, a lot. that's probably a three tattoo appointment. <laughs> you gotta go through three stages like You can't sleeve. do that all at once Like a sleeve uh, You know what it's time for? I think it's time for Ask David Hearn Yes uh, This yeah. is brought Yay! Ask David Hearn brought to you by friends at TaylorMade Canada And Cabot Cabot Cliffs and Cabot Links The two best golf courses in the world uh, We'll be going there again uh, this summer uh, Puffy will probably make his debut yes. at Cabot unless he you, backs and, out. Are you going to kick me out again? You yeah, you're want, not. You're the. Well, you're you got to ask me first. Ask me now, and then you can kick me out in a month. Bob, would you like to attend with us? Yes, I'd like to. No. Uh, <laughs> you're like it's like your chances at the fifth bedroom at Weimara. 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 Bob, by the way, lobbied me with like a serious text. Hey, just so you know, I, I'd really be interested in the fifth bedroom at Weimara <laughs> if, if you had it available. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> So ask David Hearn. Uh, we're thrilled to have David Hearn, Canadian PGA Tour professional, all-around good guy, back with us for the second year. Huge hockey fan. Yeah. Uh, and so oh, you like hockey? we want to ask questions. Now, here's the deal, David. If we get offside, because Puffy's finished an entire champagne well, bottle. I've had help. Uh, we will we will edit out questions that you are uncomfortable with because we don't want to ruin your reputation right. as a solid citizen of the PGA Tour. I'll ask I'll ask a, a, a stable one first. What what is the best tournament with perks? Yeah, you know your favorite tournament with perks that Great all the guys question. want to go to, and what are those perks? Like the friends with benefit tournament. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, there's so many good tournaments on tour these days for that. Uh, you know, I, I would say that probably you know some of the tournaments try to persuade you with good gifts and things like that. But uh, you know, I think the guys enjoy you know the players' championship the most. They do the best job with just sort of hosting things behind the scenes. You know, it's our tournament, so they probably ask. Boring. Them. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Like Chris we, we want to know more. I thought it would be the Phoenix Open. That would be this tournament well, but that's, you see but the that's, most. <laughs> but that's not the question you asked. That's not the question. You asked what's the best perk. That's the perk. What are you do going you on you see, like you see some. <laughs> Puff, that might be the perkiest event. <laughs> All right. The event with the most perks. All right. This a slight, a slight <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we'll do with Ask David Hearn is we'll ask David Hearn, and then we'll get Puffy to weigh in on his opinion yeah, every time. I don't time. even know why you need me on this pod. Uh, do you have a question? Uh, Bump, do you have a question for David Hearn on Ask David Hearn? Who would you go to me next? Go to Weeksy. Okay. Weeksy, do you have a question for David Hearn? Uh, who would you say oh, is, the, uh, is the voice of golf in Canada? <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll go past that one. I think we need not to not next time. No more cupcake, um, you know, champagne before the podcast. Oh. And so the horror grows. Nine thirty-three p.m. Who, who's your, who's your who's the best player to play with? Like in a tournament round? Yeah, like who are you like? like who's this the most is be a fun day? Fun day. Fun day, like in, in like you're no, like, like you're, you're, you're you're in a tournament day. But you're like, that's a good guy. We're going to have a good we're time out there. Time. We're just going to hit the balls. And 
Because it's low. not all serious go inside low. the ropes, right? <laughs> it's Thursday. We're going to go both go low. We want to go. We're going to be in Sunday mornings. <laughs> Are you trying to talk like a golfer? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. You have I, ruined my who, question. You completely who am I going ruined low my with? question. Who am I going low with on a Thursday? Because you want to go low with someone on a Thursday. You don't want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the hell does that mean? Okay, okay let's go. who's your favorite guy to play with? I like no, who do you I... want to go low with? <laughs> 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 Can we change a segment to ask Puff about what to her life? No. I'd like to go low with Tiger Woods. <laughs> okay. Okay. But who would you David, want to go low with? I, I like playing with guys who like to talk. You know, some guys, you know, and, and being a Canadian, I like to talk hockey and try to not talk about golf more on the course. I like playing with the Canadian guys. I like playing with GD. I like playing with, you know, Nick Taylor, you know. Corey, he's a big Leafs fan, so right now, maybe Corey's the guy. Of the big names, though, if we, like, let's say, let's go top oh, ten in the world. Oh, 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 top ten. Oh, oh, I thought oh, oh, I The oh, most oh, recent oh, winner is a Leaf fan, so I'm pretty sure he's a big name. No, I was just trying to, you know, bring in, like, I, I agree with him, the Canadians. I'm not let's go knocking Rory. them okay. down. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm just I'll, saying I'll, of the Rory's, just Tigers. Just clarify, James. Top five players, players, players in the world. Top five players in the world. Top players in the world. Or historically, okay, Hall of Fame players. You know, playing with the Big Easy. There's nobody you know better than playing with the Big Easy. He's great to play with. That's Ernie Els. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, there's a lot of really good guys. I mean, it's tough to tough to narrow it down. Think about it. Do you know the story about was it Steve Marino and Ernie Els? Should we tell that story really fast? Is that okay? <laughs> you can tell. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know the story. Well, I probably do when you get going. That Steve Marino uh, needed a ride to an event. Like across the world somewhere, like in South oh, Africa or Australia, this is, this is a and got a sorry. got a ride on Ernie L's jet. Yeah, and they drank. A, Ernie drank a lot. Yeah, on the jet. Yeah, he had a bottle of champagne. Okay, and you know, he said the only rule on the jet is you can't Get fall asleep out. and you can't yeah you can't pass out and you I just got to go the story. whole way. I have heard the story. And then like a couple of weeks later. Steve Marino came up to Ernie on the range or something and said hi, and he didn't know who he was. You missed, <laughs> yeah, but you missed the middle part. Oh, what was the good part? Well, Ernie fell uh, Steve Marino fell asleep. Right. And he was back in the washroom, and all of a sudden, Ernie opened the door and grabbed him out and started having a fight with him on the plane. They were like having a, like a play fun fight on the plane, rolling around, says, you can't fall asleep! You can't fall asleep! And the pilot came back and said, Ernie, Ernie, I told you, you can't roll around in the plane anymore. It's like you're not allowed. No, I, I did kind of miss a lot of that story, didn't I? So, so there was, there, there was a His story fun, was way better. <laughs> there was a funny uh, time, I was playing in Malaysia, and uh, to this story, uh, Ernie, he likes to pull a few beers back, that's well known, and he's pretty good at it, so... I was playing in Malaysia, and, and that's like a 25-hour flight coming back. And uh, Ernie had his plane there because he was playing some events over in Europe before. And um, he actually uh, was looking for a guy to go back to West Palm Beach with. And I was so happy that I did not end up on that flight with him because there is no way I could have drank for 20 straight hours from Malaysia back to Palm Beach. You know what would have been good on that flight? <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> I would have made a really good caddy for Ernie Ellis. Well, Champagne Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, does anyone from our live studio audience have any questions on Ask David Hearn tonight? Anybody Anybody want to know anything about life on the tour? I got one question. Oh, Mark Ward from Newfoundland. Monday morning when we walked around, we walked around uh, the, the course. Did and it was me, it you, people? and James. <laughs> yeah. And uh, did you want to punch him in the face when he was talking about all these shots that he took at the Masters hole by hole? No, I I was hoping that tomorrow we might be able to go around and go over it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the great thing for David, who's had a, who's had a great twelve year career on tour, uh, we're sitting at this group. There's Bob on the floor, Puffy, Puffy with his champagne, Bump, and me, and uh, we've all played Augusta National. And uh, well, we're talking about the people who played Augusta National. Oh, uh, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan from Calgary in our studio audience. What would you like to ask David Hearn? We may have mentioned it or asked before. Your favorite tour stop, not golf related. Yeah, that was kind of the first. That was kind of the first question, you idiots. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, like the town. Like the town. The parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great question. Yeah. Good question, uh, right? Yeah. Best pretty, dressed, pretty best good. looking crowd. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. best looking, best looking crowd. crowd. This is yeah. This this is a good. This is a good question. Uh, I think most guys, Charlotte. I think that's right up at the top. Wow. Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Yeah. Charlotte, Quail North Hollow. Carolina. Quail Hollow, you know, Southern. It's southern. Yeah. You, you know, uh, there's a great story about Arnold Palmer talking. 
with a bunch of guys sitting around one day. And they said, and they, uh, the guys were all chatting around and they said, you know, what's the best stop for picking up women? And so one guy said, well, you know, I think it's uh, probably Phoenix. It was a good one. And the other guy said, well, I think it's probably like Wells Fargo. And then one of the guys said, Arnie, what was the best uh, stop for you back in your day for picking up women? He says, they were all pretty good for me. <laughs> That's pretty, it's been a pretty informative segment of uh, Ask David Hearn. I think yeah, we've I think lo- learned a, a lot about life on the tour. Oh, Bob Weeks has one more question. You know, you interview the guy like every week. You... I know. Yeah, we, <laughs> okay. We, I text yeah. him a lot, actually. What's the best shot you've ever hit? In your, what you, when you think back of the greatest shot you've ever hit, is there one that stands out? Wow. Um, you know, I might go back to you. Um, you know, the first time I got my card, like it, that's definitely something that you kind of try to get over certain hurdles. And I was having a tough day and I managed to, uh, to, to drop a 35 foot birdie putt after hitting two really quality shots to make birdie to get my card for the first time. So I, you know, that's as clutch as it gets. I mean, I've had shots to, to come close to winning tournaments and things like that, but for right now, that's probably the one that stands out the most still. Probably. Yeah. I dropped a 37 footer at Augusta when I, when I played, what about you, Puffy? What was your best shot? At Augusta? Well, I, Augusta? Oh, I have a similar question. Um, I was playing a PlayStation uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, you have a PlayStation. Well, my, I was uh, I'm in renovations right now, right. and we were staying at a condo, and the person that we were in the condo they had a PlayStation, <laughs> and um, so I fired it up obviously, and I'm just and just hammering drives out there, and I'm going on the greens. What get you? So you're playing PGA, PGA, Ma- Rory McIlroy, seventeen, and uh, after oh, oh, the first on round PlayStation. on PlayStation, this makes a lot of sense. And you're after the first ball. round, the leader was <laughs> David Hearn. Whoa! And I was like, "There's no chance he's holding this lead, <laughs> like, <laughs> like zero chance." And then. <laughs> I like I like put like minus one on the on the on the scorecard because I can't putt for shit. And then the second round, in guess who's winning? You can't play PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. David Hearn, just out of the blue. Yeah, so we're at the cut now, and he's made it right as the leader. Dude. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> so the third round, the leader is. Not David Hearn. What happened? He fell apart on the third round of a PlayStation game two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, fell what apart. What's wrong with you? <laughs> fell apart. What happened? Fictional actually, David Hearn couldn't Fictional hold on. David Hearn had minus six after two rounds. Not on the leaderboard. That's a tough. Uh, that's a tough golf course. I'm gonna have to go over the round and see what happened and try to. Try You're gonna to have to do better. Yeah, I mean, I also did not make the cut on that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being honest with us. Uh, what else did we want to? Uh, Owen from our studio audience has been. Kind of a waste of a There's a question from Vancouver. Oh, I thought it was a good segment. Okay, it's decent. Uh, well, I mean, Puffy's story was not so that'll get sure cut. Where I was going there for a little while. Uh, well, you were oh, I wanted to play a clip. Uh, you guys won't be able to hear the clip probably because it'll be inserted by. Um, Stoff. Greatest producer ever. Maybe I can play it for you, what and then we'll the come back. Uh, the clip was all of us. Uh, we've been gambling a lot this week, oh, yeah. and uh, we, we watched the Final Four game, yep. except Bump, who went to bed yeah, in a very I'm bizarre happy. twist. Intermittently. Uh, That's you know that. true. It was a lot of tequila. But we were gambling on professional bowling. Oh, uh, in particular... Uh, uh, Tang Tuesday. Yeah. No. Guppy, Guppy no, the Tang Tuesday is today. Oh, Tang, the guy. Yeah, yeah. So it was mostly, was it Puffy against Wardo? Yeah, yeah. it was mostly yeah, yeah. Him. Puffy versus Wardo. Uh, I had uh, Hound Dog Harrison. <laughs> okay, Whoa. well, here's a, I was recording for some of this. Oh, so I'm going to play you a little clip. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah! Oh, no. 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 Oh, Puppy? Puppy, watch. Yeah! Oh, that's victory. Oh, my God. Hound dog. This is a street bowler, okay? This is a professional bowler. So that was, uh, that was uh, betting on professional bowling. I didn't think professional bowling was as exciting as oh, it was. Man. That's the so sec- second year in a row you've had a clip of bump cheering and yelling and screaming at the TV because last year it was the final well, four when Michigan, Michigan was playing. Don't get me started. Right. And so you, who, won, who won the bowling bet between you two? Hound Dog Harrison. I won. Yeah. Yeah. Hound Dog Harrison is on uh, the Jay and Dan show oh, yes. and this guy looked like Hound Dog Harrison. Yeah. By the way, Hound Dog Harrison may be the biggest David Hearn fan 
on the oh, face a, of the earth. He, is, yeah. he bets Harry on him fan. every single. He bets yeah. on golf all the time, and he bets on David Hearn every week. The real yeah. Hound Dog Harrison, not yeah. the bowler. The real one. Yeah. No, he's going to win like a five million dollars. David Hearn, John Daly, and not on PlayStation, like in real life. Yeah, real life. Of all the times, PlayStation Hearn choking dog, real Hearn. Make Winner. sure. <laughs> Choking dog a little bit, but winner soon. <laughs> In the future. I feel it coming. For, for what is wrong he with feels, you? He feels like it's problems. around the corner. <laughs> you are so Master's appearance. He better be. 2023. <laughs> it's going to take a few years. <laughs> but still, oh, 2023 is pretty good. Yes, the, the the actual awesome. studio Andes is now asking you to be removed from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> turned on me oh, like the bastards they are. This was likely the moment that determined Puff's fate forever. Ten ten p.m. Have I w- you lost control. I know I lost control you like lost m- control minute one. Yeah. I'm gonna do something for you. Okay, yeah. it's okay. a little segment we call dreams. You want to do the th- you want to do the thing? Oh baby, cry your eyes. It's, first of all, it's dry your eyes. That's what dreams are made of. You know, okay, that- somebody is somebody who's saying for the queen. That's pretty horrible. <laughs> That's the old theme for dreams, by the way. The new theme is James has dreams, dreams he remembers. Did you not get me a beer? You know, I was listening to Delilah on the way home tonight from the uh, Golf Canada. Delilah. And I feel like I'm still listening to Delilah. (laughs) I love that song, too. Hey there, Delilah. Okay, let's... let's, Not Delilah the song, Delilah the radio. The radio host. Oh. Have you ever heard Delilah? Oh, oh yeah, she's great. I thought Absolutely it was not. Delilah. Da, 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 Delilah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get the guitar. I know, I need you. I need you. I the only bit of sanity here. And a snake champagne, and I did some yarn at Delilah. This song is Lola. Lola. Oh. The song is Lola. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> you been, la 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 Lola. You've been wrong. I, I apologize <laughs> to all our listeners for what's happened over the last half an hour. I lost control minute one. We should have stayed with the Michelob Ultra. But we... I let them venture into other things. And it's... It's been a disaster. <laughs> I'm just I so sorry. I, I, I apologize to, uh, I to Taylor Maid and <laughs> our friends at Cabot <laughs> and <laughs> Weimara, <laughs> our friends at uh, iDrinkCoffee.com. <laughs> Untuck it. I love you, stuff. Okay. 10, 19 p.m. When Bob Weeks uh, single-handedly killed, <laughs> killed the segment uh, Two Trues, One Lie. Yes. A few weeks ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's told a story about singing to the Queen. Yes. And uh, we wanted to get him off so quickly that <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't ask him to explain the story of, you know, because he yeah, said it was, it was true that he sang before the Queen. And yes. we thought he was probably lying on that, too. Yeah. So what song did you, you sing to the Queen, and how old were you at the time? I was uh, 13 years old, and I sang the Ontario song. Can, you, you, know song? can you sing it for us now? This is a place to stand and a place to grow and call this land Ontario. A place to stand, a place to grow, Ontario. It was the opening of on- <laughs> opening of Ontario Place, and the Queen came down and said, "That <laughs> rocked." <laughs> My. Oh. No, this was a good that segment. Was a good segment. Uh, you can't say that. <laughs> just bleep out, bleep out everything you just said and keep the segment. Okay. So just so, just so everybody knows, I am not being able to go off the rails. Reckless, unnecessary, and likely illegal. It's no surprise what came next. Ten twenty-two p.m. Yeah. Cupcake Champagne should be his old baseball name. <laughs> No, that would be great. Cupcake champagne. And it's short stop. Cupcake champagne. He's a little wobbly. He's not. Oh, great. he's down. Hitting 247. <laughs> he's Again. just vomiting on second base. <laughs> but he has a boner for days. <laughs> and likes to turn the double play. 
All right. Uh, you know what we need to talk about, Mom? Not the queen. Oh, what do we have to talk about? The Let's talk about our tailor-made fitting. Yes. Could you yeah. actually? You might want to. Leave, you should leave the room yeah. for a few Get minutes. Get out of here. Fucking bull. <laughs> How was I not invited to the tailor made fitting? Look at uh, da- uh, David Hearn uses great tailor made equipment. Uh, Jamie and myself and Bob and the O Dog. Oh, O-Dog. 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 We all did our fitting the same day. We were in uh, three booths. Yep. I have a picture of you somewhere with all the electrodes hooked I, up yes, to you. That's right. That was fun. It was fun. It was the first time I've ever been fitted for clubs, and it was. Uh, what? Were they able to register that your shot went 127 meters <laughs> wide of the fairway? No, I was hitting the ball great that day. You yeah. were hitting a little in left. In fact, with the... <laughs> a in, little left. In fact, with that data, I'd be able to easily shoot 40. Not sure if it was something Bump said, but things definitely escalated and disintegrated from there. 11.34 p.m. With... The data I received. Right. What did you learn about yourself? Is it data I learned or data. Da- no, it's data. <laughs> do you call it data? I'm just I would asking go with data. You. I go data. Okay. With you. We don't care about you, Puff. Clearly, it's why you didn't have a fitting. <laughs> wow. That's funny. You can laugh. It was very funny. Yeah. Um, so Hold I on. learned. There's nothing in life that has ever been funny that someone said. That was very funny. <laughs> That's like not true. Literally zero time. He might pass out before. He might pass out before the pod's zero. She's not twice. Cherry pie. Cherry pie I learned is funny. that I have good, good club speed and good ball speed, but I the ball spins a lot. You're a spinner. I'm a spinner, <laughs> and I have an inside-out swing with the base with my Hold baseball. Inside-out swing. So is another word never. For- <laughs> He's very true. That is what so that true. Means. That's so true. No one, no one on the tour, like, yeah, you know, I won two majors whoa, with whoa. my inside out swing. Dave, David down. Hearn, are you a, are you a inside out guy? Do you spin the ball too much or not? <laughs> I do not spin the ball too much. Yeah. Do you do. think this is the kind of analysis no, the tours have been lacking? Yeah. <laughs> like when have, Johnny I Miller, when Johnny say, Miller retired. Like if NBC uh, only had known about Puff before they hired Zinger, <laughs> I mean, it really would have been. Throw me on the deuce. They could have like done like a little competition head to head one week, you know, Zinger, one week Puff in the sea. I had my friend uh, Andrew who has uh, fitted me for the last he three times. Her. No, I- <laughs> no, it's just imaginary, Andrew. <laughs> there it is. It to be he seems like to look Andrew. like a guitar. No one listening could understand what you're talking about. It's weird I that stuck. He looks like a guitar. That's why I have my video on. <laughs> so my friend Andrew's actually down at uh, down at Augusta this week with his lovely girlfriend uh, from from, from, from TaylorMade. Uh, uh, they, he came early this morning to pick up the tickets. You were still sleeping. Uh, so anyway, we want to thank our buddies at TaylorMade uh, for everything they've done. You know, the best thing is, like when I get fit for a new set of clubs, that means I have an old set of clubs, and I'm a left-handed, Yay. and your son is left-handed. My son, so I get gifted. We get re-gifted uh, a lot of Bob Weeks clubs. <laughs> Hold on a second, though. Who's right-handed? I know. Uh, Puffy gets all my clubs. That's right. Right. Which he will need after he gets fired after people <laughs> listen to this podcast. <laughs> I'll have a golf club set. You know, he can make fun of my <laughs> swing all the time. A golf club set? Is that what they call it? Who shot better at Augusta? That's what we call it. <laughs> golf. golf club world. You call it a golf club set? <laughs> Us non-tour professionals, we call it club set. So we'll have our new uh, tailor-made club, clubs. Club what? Club set. It's club exciting. Set. We'll have our new tailor-made clubs down at Cabot. Oh, no, you're not going. Oh, no, I was going. Oh, no, you're not going either. No, you guys yeah, might come. Okay. Oh, uh, our friends at Cabot, we're having a anymore. we're having a uh, Ryder Cup. You asked me to come. We're having yeah. a Ryder Cup event. TSN versus. We don't want to talk about those other guys. You know, I'm actually having uh... the other company, another cable company, the Score. Omni. <laughs> Omni. 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 Ryan Vardy is W W, w Network. Yeah. It's it's what TSN versus, versus Slice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should we wrap this baby up? Is there oh, anything yeah. else left to done? No, we should keep going. Keep, 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 keep <laughs> going. Haven't even started. Yeah. Like da- David Hearn hasn't even expressed what he what it means to him to hang out with us all this week. What does David Hearn think about? That's a last question, David Hearn. What do yeah, you think? Like, what's it like to be a broadcaster? Three segments ago. What are the difference between playing in a tournament and broadcasting a tournament? We're talking as an audience. Whew. Open for <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Puff? 
Well, nobody you don't cares. Get any trophies at the Beep. end of broadcast? Oh yes, you do. Uh, uh, you the seven in Bumble. my basement would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been on Bumble Dick. this week. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should uh, we should say goodbye. Uh, we'll leave. Uh, we'll, no, we'll go around. We're not just leaving. Just one person. <laughs> okay. We're still going to talk forever. Okay, party, party, you're gone. Oh, yeah, ask, Dave if videos, uh, ask Dave if he's got any videos of any gymnasts that he wants to show us. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Oh, Dave showed us this yeah. disgusting video of a gymnast breaking both her legs doing a floor routine. <laughs> it was just a tumble and, run. And he it was took just the, a tumbling <laughs> run. You took the sickest enjoyment in watching it. He, oh, he, he us made us watch it. He did but make he went us door to door. He went around the neighborhood showing <laughs> I didn't go door to door. <laughs> he basically did go door to door. <laughs> That's bump blowing it is Corona. We want to thank our studio audience, Ryan Vardy. Yes. Our man Owen. He was very well behaved. He didn't belch in the middle of our segments and yell stuff out. Uh, we want to especially thank our fixer, Mr. Wolf and Nicole, who is responsible for taking care of us all week long. That was a fantastic job. Uh, I want to thank my friend Mark Ward from Newfoundland for dropping by. And thank you for dropping me off in the middle of Crip Town in, in uh, Augusta, <laughs> yeah. South South Central Augusta. Mark forgot his pass today, so he, we realized at a red light he didn't have his pass. Uh, he had a practice round pass, and we just kicked him out of the car and left him to fend for himself. Sure. They were filming an episode of Cops. <laughs> <laughs> Cops, I guess. Mark will be live, on Cops live in PD. August of 2020. And he's live PD Augusta. Uh, I want to thank Bump, who for the first time in his appearances was not the worst guy on the podcast. Yes! I've improved! David Hearn, you f***ed up. <laughs> I want to thank uh, uh, Run, uh, Bob Weeks, who... Uh, Somehow I was going to have to recover from this and do a lot of great analysis this weekend. Oh my goodness. This, is, uh, this has been, uh, out of the three we've done here, this has been, <laughs> this has been one of them. <laughs> this has been one of them. Uh, you're going to have to play us out in a second, okay? Do you know the, can you play the Rubber Boots Guy song? Sure, yeah. And we'll sing it for the you. The Elton Ron version. Uh, I want to particularly thank uh, David Hearn for being such yes. a good sport. Yay! For taking Puffy's abuse. Despite Puffy's abuse, we love David Hurd. He's having a great year on tour, and we fear a, a victory is coming very quickly. Very and he except does Puffy. Fa- Everyone here <laughs> believes it except Puffy. And, and I think 2023 is the year. And uh, I want to thank Puffy for two and a half great seasons on the pod. It's been it's been great having you. You know, I, I honestly didn't think I last less than two episodes. <laughs> What's funny more is than two hypo- episodes. You would the say. Puffy's <laughs> hypothetical. I thought less than two, more than six. Yeah. So you went. How many did we do? We've done about sixty or something like that. Seventy. It was a good run. A lot good more run. than that. Hypothetical. <laughs> Thanks for remembering the thirty that we did that you didn't remember. <laughs> We've All right. done like hundred and ninety. We did three seasons. We did. We did I three. Three. You're gonna say that's a hundred and ninety. Yeah. All right. Hundred and ninety podcasts. Here we go. Uh, Bob Weeks is gonna play us out. Bob's gonna sing. All right. Hey. How are, How are ya? ya? I got a question <laughs> that I really want to ask ya. Come on, Bobby, join in. Wait. Wait. A minute. Don't hang up. Don't All right. Don't hang up. up. I gotta know well, that I'm gonna to try and push my luck. Everybody now. I, I wear your rubber boots tonight. Are they purple, yellow, green, or black, or white? I wear your rubber boots tonight. And do you like the dunk tank? Oh, I thought it was a hang up. No, I the to say. Hang up? Damn it. You wanna do the second course? You wanna do the second course? I hate myself. <laughs> Use that. That's good. <laughs> By now, disoriented, completely inebriated, and likely nude, Puffy addressed the microphone before the recording abruptly stopped. 12.24 a.m. Uh, Puff, uh, you wanted to do some apologies? I'd like to apologize. (laughs) (laughs) To the Queen. (laughs) To David Hearn. Uh, To... To who else? Your wife, your wife. My wife, Tanya, and the boys. I love you more than ever before. <laughs> we here at TSN fear the worst for Duffy and acknowledge that Puffy is likely dead as well. What really happened that night? We may never know.
Ah, uh, you wearing your rubber boots tonight? tonight?